guys, it's Vicky, and today we're going to be doing a pretty easy tutorial since, let's face it, life hasn't been very easy lately. <laughs> so we're going to be making a diagonally striped multi-stitch cuff, and if you need to add any string during this tutorial, just go to the link in the description and it will show you a video about how to add the string. Also down there will be my contact information in case you want to say hi or if you need help with anything or like show me your candy pics, that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's talk about what supplies I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using these really cute matte beads. It's called the Matte Bright Mix. These were gifted to me by my favorite store to buy all my supplies from, um, Jolly Store Crafts. They're really awesome. And like I said, I also, in addition to them giving me stuff, I also buy everything I need there. <laughs> Just awesome all around. I got the string there as well. This is a one millimeter thick white elastic that I'm using. It doesn't have to be quite this thick, I just like to use the thicker ones because they're more durable. All my candy seems to break eventually, <laughs> so hopefully this will extend the life. I'd recommend using 0.7 millimeter or thicker. And then obviously you're going to need some scissors once you can cut stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, well let's get into the tutorial. Let me show you how I measure my string. <laughs> I'm first gonna get a piece of string that's about five feet long. I just measure it like this. That's how I do it. And that's the biggest piece of string that I'm willing to use. Anything beyond that, I'll just attach it later. So I got my piece. Whenever I add the string, I usually add it in like one arm lengths, <laughs> which I estimate to be like two feet. Let me show you zoom in here. Let me zoom in here and I'll show you how to make the bracelet. Now that you've got your big like five foot long piece of string, we're gonna add some beads onto it and we're going to make a single. Since we're making a diagonally striped cuff, you're going to want to put in succession so two beads of each color. So I've got a pink, now I'm gonna put another pink. So that's going to be one of my stripes. And then I'm going to do an orange, and then another orange. I've never used matte beads before. These are like really cute. Okay, then we're going to go with some yellow. So two yellows. And I'm going to try making this maybe 32 beads around and see how that fits me. It needs to be an even number of beads for the multi-stitch to work properly. Ooh, there's a cute little light sky blue in this one. And then like a like a dark a aquaish color. So there goes that. I just love rainbows, as you can probably tell by my outfit. <laughs> in the background, which I am quite certain my cats are going to eat later. Okay, so how many is that so far? I think that's 24. Hmm, that kind of looks big enough. That might even be too big. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. So I'm not tying it in a knot quite yet because I want to slide it on my wrist and see if it fits me. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I think that's only 28. It kind of depends on the size of your beads, how many you're going to need around. Because pony beads, you know, the standard is 9 by 6 millimeter, but you know, sometimes they're a different size than that. Like, they can vary. So, I went ahead and tied that off because I made sure first that it was the correct size. You want to tie it off like three times and then as you're tying you want to tug like this uh, to make sure that the knot will stay. And be kind of gentle because you can break it, <laughs> especially if you're using one of those clear strings. 
I think those tend to snap easier. I don't think I've ever actually snapped elastic. So now we have our one single. Make sure that each color has two beads and that you have an even number. Um, and then I'm gonna take my long string. By the way, I think I forgot to say that I did cut off that small tape. So now I'm going to add on a bead. I've decided that I want to start threading this way. See, we have pink, pink, and then the string, and then purple. So what I'm going to do is continue the pink stripe. So it's going to be pink, pink, and then I'm going to add a pink bead to my string. And then, there we go. Then I'm going to thread the string through the second purple bead away from our knot. It's very long. I don't think I'll need to add any string. <laughs> so as you can see, our pink bead that we just added is sitting on top of the purple. So it kind of continues this pink stripe. Okay, so next, I'm going to add on a purple bead and then place my string through the second dark blue bead over. Okay, there we go. So now you can really see how the purple is becoming a diagonal stripe. So now I'm going to add a dark blue bead and place my string through the second light blue bead over. So now, you'll just keep doing this all the way around. Another note here, um, once I get about halfway around my row and I'm doing a multi-stitch cuff, I like to take the string and pull on it and get them nice and tight so that the bracelet will stand up later. Okay, now I'm going to continue with the other half of the row. So now I have gone all the way around the row. I'm going to pull my string again to tighten it. Before I go on to the next row. Be very careful when you're tightening. Don't pull too hard. You can break it. It just takes time to kind of build up your techniques and see like how hard you can <laughs> pull it without breaking it. If you can see here, my string is coming out of this middle pink bead. I'm going to place it through this pink bead that's popping out so that I can get to the next row. I'm doing this without adding another bead. Okay, so now I can add the next pink bead in my stripe. And it's going to sit on top of that middle purple bead. So here we go with the next pink bead. This is going to continue our diagonal pattern. Next, I'm going to add a purple bead and put my string through this next dark blue bead that's sticking out. Then I'll be adding a dark blue bead and put in my string through this next light blue bead that's sticking out. to look like diagonal stripes. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now I need a light blue. And I'm putting it through that 
light green bead that's sticking out and then a, I'm gonna add a light green and put my string through this yellow bead that's sticking out. Okay, next I'm going to add a yellow bead and put my string through this next orange bead that's sticking out. halfway around so I'm going to go ahead and pull on the string and make sure everything's nice and tight. So next I'll be adding an orange bead and putting my string through the next pink and just do this all the way around. like something. <laughs> okay, so once again, in order to get to the next row, I need to take my string and put it through the next bead that's popping out without adding a bead. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you something else now that we've gotten this far. If you want to change the direction of your diagonal stripe, do a little zigzag action. I'm going to show you that. Earlier we would have put a pink bead in this space, but instead we're going to put a purple one. So because we're going to make our um, diagonal do a little zigzag here. So we need to start putting the beads opposite of where we would have put them earlier. So right now I am going to put a purple bead on my string and then string it through the next purple bead that's sticking out. And it will look like that. So now I'm going to add a dark blue bead and put my string through the next dark blue bead. Now I'm going to add a light blue and put my string through the next light blue that's sticking out. Now I'll add a light green and put my string through the next light green that's sticking out. Now I'm adding a yellow. Periodically tightening. So now it looks like that. I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm going to put my string through this next purple bead that's sticking out. There we go. So now I'm ready to do my next row. So as I said before, now our diagonal stripe is going that way. So here I'm going to add a dark blue bead on top of this purple bead. So I'll add that and then I'll put my string through the next dark blue bead. Then I'll be putting a light blue bead on top of this dark blue bead. Putting the string through the next light blue. Adding a green. Putting my string through the next green. And we have successfully changed direction, so now we're making a little zigzag. And now I'm gonna add a yellow. And I put my string through the next yellow. And then I'm just going to go all the way around this row. Ow! <laughs> I hit myself in the fingernail. Does anybody else ever do that? Hit yourself in the fingernail with these beads? <laughs>
see what happens to all of us. So now what I'm going to do <laughs> is pick my bracelet apart and I will come back to you when I've corrected that mistake. <laughs> supposed to be orange. Okay, we're back on track now. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this row and then I will show you how to do the very last row. Tied off. I finished that row. I don't know if you can tell, but these beads are kind of like awkwardly loose. <laughs> so I'm gonna like pull like that to get them to be a little bit tighter. That can happen sometimes when your beads are like have really rounded edges. But alright, we're ready to do the very last row and then tie off her cuff. So I'm going to put my string through the next bead that's sticking out next to my, my string. Oh lord. <laughs> Words are hard, guys. Words are hard, guys. Okay, so I'm going to do a light blue. Then through the light blue. A green and then through the light green and I think you get the point by this time right <laughs> it's looking pretty cool and if you wanted to you can make this a lot bigger but for the sake of the tutorial this is as big as I'm going to make mine we'll do a bigger one next time <laughs> but if you wanted to you can zigzag it to be like two or three times as big to kind of like pull on your string and tighten it every few beads you add so that there's none that are like awkwardly loose. Alright, so I think that is good enough for today. I think it's really cute. So now we're going to go ahead and tie it off. So you'll need to take your string and put it underneath the string that's in between these two beads. The one that's like connecting them, if that makes sense. So I'll put it under there. And then I'll hold the loop in one hand and the other little tail in the other hand. I'll make a square knot with them. like three times just to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Don't forget to do the little tugs like this. Then I'll cut this off. Cut off the loop and the tail. And then you can kind of like try to slide the knot like inside of a bead. Let's see. Can I do that? Oop. we go. Well, that didn't work as I planned. Hmm. It's like it's too big. I don't know. Sometimes you can. I'm not doing a very good job of it right now. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes I like to just do this to like even out any loose areas. cuff away to you guys. But there is a catch. I can't afford the shipping right now because I am very broke. <laughs> I had to stop working for a few weeks before you moved. So, I'm going to cut you a deal. I will put this 
bracelet in my Etsy store for zero dollars plus shipping. <laughs> so if anybody wants it and wants to just pay the shipping, I will send it right to you. Anyways guys, thank you so so much for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials. Hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.